see that uh, without a rule. I see myself as being a, a, a peaceful, quiet, loving anarchist. I just don't want to have a ruler, that's all. What happened in the 1960s, I, uh, and I found myself in business. I went into my father's business and I bought him out. I thought, well, maybe I better learn something about economics. I hadn't been to university. I scraped through the leaving certificate for four Bs. So I went into a bookshop and I saw a book on endemics. Down the spine was economics. <clears throat> I didn't know there were different sorts of economics. So I bought the book, hardcover, quite thick. Uh, took it home, I couldn't understand it. Um, and I, uh, I thought, gee, you've got to be smart to, be, to understand economics. It's terribly difficult. I understand now why, because the book was written by Paul Samuelson. <laughs> then in 1970, uh, my uh, brother came back from America with a book by Harry Brown. And in the back of that book was a bibliography. And I wrote away and got a lot of, a heap of books. They were books by uh, Rothbard, Mises, but I understood it. it. It made sense. Samuelson made no sense. The Workers' Party came along and there I had uh, a few fellow travellers uh, and it was quite fun. As the CIS became more successful, it became less adventurous, more and more part of the ruling class. Civil disobedience, the rules of engagement. I just like to do a bit of civil disobedience if I think I can get away with it. Because people, you know, we're too compliant, we're too obedient.